The graph shows y is equal to f of x. We don't actually know what the function is. It looks a bit like a cubic. Use the graph to find an estimate for the gradient of the curve. y is equal to f of x up 3 minus 12. By drawing a suitable straight line on the graph, find an estimate for the solution of the equation f of x is 6 minus 2x. The equation f of x is equal to k, which is a horizontal straight line, has three different solutions for k being between a and b. Use the graph to estimate the value of a and the value of b. OK, let's do this bit of a time. So first of all, we had to draw, uh, find the gradient of the curve at that point. We can't use any calculus because we don't know the function of the curve. So you have to take your ruler and draw a tangent. Remember, this is quite difficult to do. So you place your ruler up P and you need to make sure that you have an equal angle here and an equal angle here. And then you draw your tangent. OK, that should look like that. Now you need to find the gradient of that tangent. So you'll need to show how you found the gradient of that tangent. So taking this point here and this point here, you must take some convenient points. This is 1 and this is uh, minus 2.2. .2. Take into account... Uh, actually, it's not. Let's just look what one of these actually is, is uh, on the... Um, Thing. So the, one of these little squares here is going to be 0.4 because that's minus 8.4, minus 8.6, uh, minus uh, 9.2, 9.6. So one of these is going to be 0.4. So we've got one whole one and one little one, which is going to be minus 2.4. Right, so the gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x. So that's going to be minus 2.4 divided by 1, which gives me a gradient of minus 2.4. Now in the final answer here, there will be a, a leeway in which the examiner uh, can accept your uh, solution, but you're strongly suggested to show some sort of working on your graph. Right, last uh, part B, we need to solve the equation 6 minus 2x, f of x is equal to 6 minus 2x. So if we rewrite that as f of x is minus 2x plus 6, and that's similar to y is equal to mx plus c, c tells me where it cuts the uh, y axis. And then for every one uh, along, we go two down. But remember, the scales are different. So for every one along, that will be two down. So the next point will go there, here. So you need to read the scales on graph properly. Take your ruler and place it against those points and then draw, draw a line and label it 6 minus 2x. Right, we all want to know the solution. So that's going to be that point there. OK, so the solution of f of x is equal to x minus 6 minus 2x. And if we read it off the graph, it's going to give me x is equal to 6. Right, we need to now find three solutions of the graph of y is equal to k. Now, y is equal to k is a horizontal straight line. So if we take this one here, for example, we will have three solutions because it will cut the curve three times. Here, down here... We only cut the curve once, and then here it will only cut the curve uh, once. So the limits are going to be this point here and this point here. So we need to draw a line. This will be the minimum value of b. But it can't be equal to this, obviously, because we're only going to get two solutions. So we need to read that off carefully and, and read it off to b. So that's uh, minus 12.8. That's uh, minus 13.2. It's halfway between that and the next one, so it'll be minus 13.4. And then this one at the top here, that's going to be 4.4. Uh, so it's going to be 4.6. Okay, so any value between minus 13.4 and 4.6 will give three solutions for y is equal to k if you draw it along. So you're going to have... Uh, uh, 13.6 less than k is less than 4.6. So 
So K being between A, A will be minus 13.6 and B will be 4.6. Rather saying uh, Y is equal to uh, K, it might be better to say F of X is equal to K. So it's been a video to show you how uh, you can draw a tangent to a graph, draw a straight line on the graph and use it to get a solution. And then finding where you would have three solutions to for a particular graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.